Ninety percent of the students aren't able to solve this. One fourth to the power of x equals x. Oh my God! How should I solve it? The left hand side, exponential form. X is the right hand side. That means x is equal to this. So x should be positive. Because it is one over four to the power of something. So then, what shall we do? Do this: one over four to the power of x、It、is, of course, equal to one to the power of x over four to the power of x. But we know that one to the power of anything is equal to one. So, the left hand side can be written as one over. Four to the power of x, and the right hand side is x. Take the reciprocal on the both sides. Four to the power of x equals one over x. Then, you see, hmm, this exponent x is in the way. Hmm. Now we can raise the both sides to the power of one over x. Left hand side will be four to the power of x to the power of one over x. And the right hand side one over x to the power of one over x. So here it is four to the power of x times one over x, so it is one. The left hand side is four, and the right hand side is. One over x to the power of one over x. Now, of course, we can do a substitution. We can let one over x be written as t, for example. And the next step, four can be written as two squared, two to the power of two. The right hand side, t to the power of t. Now you can see, two to the power of two equals T to the power of t. Then, of course, t is equal to two. So two should be equal to t. Then, what shall we do? Two is t. So that means two is equal to one over x. What is x? Of course, x is one over two. So we get that the value of x is one over two. Wait. Hmm. Maybe I have a question. Is there really only one root? If there is, how shall we prove it? Don't worry. How can we prove that this equation has one root and has only one root? The left hand side can be regarded as the function y is equal to one over four to the power of x. Monotonically decreasing. And the right hand side, y equals x. We can construct the plane, and it's going to look like this. This point is zero one, and here is y equals x. So you can see how many intersections are there. Of course, there is only one intersection. That means this one intersection means one root. So that means this equation has only one root, and this root is one over two. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more interesting questions. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.